Hello learners, in this video we will learn how to use chronometer in Android. So we are going to make this application. You can see when I start this chronometer, the counter is start and when I stop this, the counter is stopped. When I start again, the counter is start. It is not start from where I left, it start from means it start from means add some more points in between our chronometer stop. You can check. I stopped at 1 minute 80 seconds. When I start, you will see it will start and add stopping time as well and uh, you can also apply format here on this chronometer and also clear the format and this toast is happening as per ticked tick listener I have applied on this okay so we are going to make this example in our uh, in this video okay and uh, chronometer is a subclass of test view and as you can see if you want to show the timer functionality in your <coughs> application then you use chronometer as well as on a every tick you want to perform something some action so you can use this uh, widget okay and you can apply properties which is applicable for your test view like font color font style click listener as well as uh, as well as test style and another property which is applicable for your test view okay so let's get started first of all we need to add some strings here for the label of our button string name start so start here and uh, string name stop stop and string name start stop clear clear format ok and string name apply here apply format ok now design our layout here you first of all add four buttons one two three four as well as add a chronometer chronometer give the id to this chronometer id id what id is equal to timer ok and uh, move to design view and uh, set the constraint for all select all the widget and uh, set the horizontal constraint for center in the parents ok as well as drag this to bottom and set the top constraint ok 
Okay. Now give some more margin from top. Now <coughs> change the ID of these buttons and apply label accordingly. Let's say this is for button start and this is for button stop. This is for button button format okay and this is for button clear format okay now as I told you, you can apply whatever property you applied on your test field. So here you can apply like uh, uh, like background color, whatever color you want to apply here. You can apply let's say this one okay as well as you can apply test size test size size is equal to 20 dp as well as apply test style bold and test color white okay now change the set the top constraint of all the all the widget okay and uh, top margin should be 32 dp set the top constraint here 32 dp as well as set the constraint here top constraint here 32 dp set the constraint of this button as well change this to 32 dp ok now change the label as per their their id so format apply ok and clear format for that you need to you label clear for format you need to apply label apply ok and here stop so you will select stop here and start you will select start as well ok now we have done with our layout file now move to our main activity first of all we will implement on click listener so that we can perform action on button click and implement on click method in this activity and a 
attach a listener with all buttons like button clear set on click listener this this okay and copy this and paste three more time and change the button button id is like button clear start button stop okay and uh, start stop button format okay now we will identify the id using view dot id and perform action according to button clicked button stop okay for button stop click we want to stop our chronometer timer stop okay and on a start click we want to start our chronometer and button format we apply timer dot format format is equal to timer is running okay and as and button and else if a button are not clear another button is clicked means uh, clear format button is clicked then we want to clear the applied format whatever is that to null okay mean no format is applied as well as we need to let's run and continue our coding because it will take some time to run on emulator so meanwhile we will apply a listener on this so timer set on chrono tick listener okay and when every tick is happened we want to show our toast here you will pass the contest this at main activity okay and pass tick tick happened and set the how many time it will display and show okay so we have done with our coding and if everything is fine then this time we are not able to see tick event but apart from this uh, these functionalities work properly so let's check it's working or not it's going to launch yes it's launched let's start now you can see our chronometer is start 
okay and when you apply format then format is applied if you clear the format then format is cleared if you stop then our chronometer is stopped when uh, we start it start okay now you observe one thing when i stop we stop this to 14 second 44 seconds but when i assume it will add and start from means uh, means uh, from starting to point to 44 till means uh, till a stopping time add that time stopping time into this and start from there you can check carefully you can check okay so apply format that's all for this video if you have any question or concern please write me in comment i will try to resolve as soon as possible okay and please share like and subscribe my channel thank you thank you very much